Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC, is a major command MAGECOM, of the United States Air Force, headquartered at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana. AFGSC provides combat-ready forces to conduct strategic nuclear deterrence and global strike operations in support of combatant commanders. It is subordinated to the USSTRATCOM. Air Force Global Strike Command is the direct descendant unit of the Cold War Era Strategic Air Command SAC. It holds the lineage, history and honors of SAC. Topic. Overview Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC, was established for the improvement of the management of the USAF portion of the United States nuclear arsenal, which accounts for two-thirds of America's nuclear deterrent. It assumed responsibility for the nuclear-capable assets of Air Force Space Command on 1 December 2009 and the nuclear-capable assets of Air Combat Command on 1 February 2010. The creation of Air Force Global Strike Command was outlined in the recommendations of the investigation following the 2007 United States Air Force nuclear weapons incident. The command was activated 7 August 2009, at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana. The mission of Air Force Global Strike Command is to develop and provide combat-ready forces for nuclear deterrence and global strike operations, safe, secure, effective to support the President of the United States and combatant commanders. AFGSC consists of over 31,000 personnel assigned to nine wings, two geographically separated squadrons and one detachment in the continental United States and deployed to locations around the globe. Changes to the AFGSC units began with the announcement of the 377th Air Base Wing's realignment in December 2014. In mid-April 2015, Air Force Times reported that B-1 bombers from Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota and Dias Air Force Base in Texas will be joining their long-range B-2 and B-52 bomber counterparts under a single Air Force command as part of a leadership shift announced Monday. This means that two bomb wings formerly under Air Combat Command will shift into AFGSC. The units came under the command on 1 October 2015. On 6 October 2016, the 595th Command and Control Group was activated at Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska to assume the responsibility for the Boeing E-4NAOC mission. Topic. Units. The command has a worldwide area of responsibility AOR, as a subordinate component command of United States Strategic Command USSTRATCOM. AFGSC is one of two USAF component commands in USSTRATCOM, the other being Air Force Space Command AFSPC. Installations assigned to AFGSC include Barksdale Air Force Base, Malmstrom Air Force Base, Minot Air Force Base, F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Dias Air Force Base, Ellsworth Air Force Base, Kirtland Air Force Base, and Whiteman Air Force Base. Topic. Eight Air Force Headquarters, 8th Air Force, Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana 8th Air Force is designated as U.S. Strategic Command's Task Force 204, TF-204, providing on alert, combat-ready forces to the President of the United States. The mission of the Mighty 8th is to safeguard America's interests through strategic deterrence and global combat power. 8th Air Force controls long-range nuclear-capable bomber assets throughout the United States and overseas locations. 
Its flexible, conventional and nuclear deterrence mission provides the capability to deploy forces and engage enemy threats from home station or forward positioned, anywhere, anytime. The 8th Air Force motto is, Deterrence through strength, global strike on demand. The Missouri Air National Guard's 131st Bomb Wing is an associate unit of the 509th Bomb Wing at Whiteman AFB, flying the B-2A Spirit. If federalized, it is gained by 8th Air Force. The Air Force Reserve Command's 307th Bomb Wing is an associate unit of the 2D Bomb Wing at Barksdale AFB, flying the B-52H Stratofortress. In addition, its geographically separated 489th Bomb Group is an associate unit of the 7th Bomb Wing at Dias AFB, flying the B-1B Lancer. If activated, it is gained by 8th Air Force offensive aircraft assets include the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, and Boeing B-1B Lancer. Topic. 20th Air Force Headquarters, 20th Air Force, Francis E. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming 20th Air Force is responsible for maintaining and operating the Air Force's Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Force. Designated as USSTRATCOM's Task Force 214 TF-214, 20th Air Force provides on alert, combat-ready ICBMs to the President of the United States. The ICBMs are on 24-hour, 365-day alert and are ready to launch on any given day. AFGSC's 20th Air Force is the Air Force's lead command for and largest operator of UH-1N Huey helicopters. The UH-1N supports ICBM operations in missile fields controlled by FE. Warren, Malmstrom and Minot Air Force bases. In 2015, the 582D helicopter group was activated to supervise the three A-1 squadrons. Topic. History See, Strategic Air Command for History prior to 2009 Following the 2007 United States Air Force nuclear weapons incident when six AGM-129 air-launched cruise missiles ALCM, each loaded with a W-81 variable-yield nuclear warhead, were mistakenly loaded onto a B-52H at Minot AFB and transported to Barksdale AFB and the 2008 incident in which four MK-12 forward section re-entry vehicle assemblies were mistakenly shipped to Taiwan, former Secretary of Defense James R. Schlesinger led an investigation into the status of U.S. Air Force nuclear surety. Secretary Schlesinger's recommendation was the creation of a single major command under which all Air Force nuclear assets should be placed for better accountability. On 24 October 2008, the Secretary of the United States Air Force, Michael Donnelly, announced the creation of the Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC, as a new Air Force Major Command Magecom. Along with Air Force Space Command AFSPC, at Peterson Air Force Base, Colorado, AFGSC is one of two Air Force component commands reporting to United States Strategic Command USSTRATCOM at Offutt. The new command began operations in August 2009, combining the nuclear-capable Strategic Bomber Force previously operated by Air Combat Command ACC, and the land-based Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, force previously operated by Air Force Space Command AFSPC. ACC and AFSPC had assumed said responsibilities following the 1992 inactivation of Strategic Air Command SAC. The USAF currently has 20 B-2 Spirit and 57 B-52 Stratofortress bombers and three missile wings of Minuteman III ICBMs that are designated as nuclear-capable. 
When needed for conventional missions, the B-2 and B-52 bombers will be reassigned to regional commands. Although formerly assigned a nuclear mission, the Rockwell B-1 Lancer Bomber Force transitioned to a strictly conventional mission force and was initially retained in Air Combat Command, although that decision was reversed in 2015. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer Bombers now are organized under the Air Force Global Strike Command. In November 2008, the USAF announced plans to start a fourth B-52 squadron at Minot Air Force Base to support Air Force Global Strike Command. The USAF added that, "...all the nuclear-capable bombers of what is now 8th Air Force, and command of all ICBMs of what is now in 20th Air Force, will report to this single new command." This action was accomplished on 3 September 2009, when the 69th Bomb Squadron reactivated at Minot Air Force Base, the command's 55-member preliminary team, commanded by Major General James Kowalski, began operations at Bowling Air Force Base on 12 January 2009. The team was charged with finding a location for the new headquarters and transitioning the assigned units into the new command. In April 2009, the preliminary team selected Barksdale Air Force Base as the headquarters for the new command. Donnelly stated that the factors which contributed to the selection of Barksdale over the other candidate bases were its connection to the 8th Air Force, a slightly larger air operations center and the base's hosting of the 11th Bomb Squadron, which trains B-52 aircrews and will be adding special emphasis on nuclear training. On 16 April 2009, United States Secretary of Defense Robert Gates announced that Air Force Lieutenant General Frank G. Klotz was nominated to be the first commander of the Global Strike Command. Prior to his assignment to AFGSC, L.T. Jen Klotz was the Assistant Vice Chief of Staff and Director of the Air Force Staff. On 18 June, after an environmental assessment finding of no significant impact, Barksdale Air Force Base was announced as the permanent location for AFGSC. On 7 August 2009, the command officially became active with Lt. Gen. Klotz assuming command of the organization. The headquarters staff includes 900 people, and reached full operational capability by 30 September 2010. The 20th Air Force, the service's missile organization, came under the new command on 1 December 2009, and the 8th Air Force, the bomber component, came under the command on 1 February 2010. Topic. Lineage Established as Continental Air Forces on 13 December 1944 Activated on 15 December 1944 Redesignated, Strategic Air Command on 21 March 1946 Inactivated on 1 June 1992 Redesignated as Air Force Global Strike Command, and activated, on 7 August 2009 Topic. Assignments United States Army Air Forces, 15 December 1944 United States Air Force, 26 September 1947 to 1 June 1992 United States Air Force, 7 August 2009 present Topic. Stations Washington, District of Columbia, 15 December 1944 Bowling Air Force Base, District of Columbia, by 1946 Andrews Air Force Base, Maryland, 21 October 1946 Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska, the 9th of November 1948 to the 1st of June 1992. Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, the 7th of August 2009 present. 
Topic: Aircraft and missiles. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit 2009 present. Boeing B-52H Stratofortress 2009 present. Bell UH-1N Twin Huey 2009 present. LGM-30G Minuteman III 2009 present. B-1B Lancer 2015 present. Boeing E-4B 2016 present. Topic. See also Nuclear triad List of states with nuclear weapons Comparable organizations United States Fleet Forces Command U.S. Navy